probably not going to have enough time to do absolutely everything I want to do here, but we'll give it a shot. First thing I want to get him something else he can use. Something a little more expendable. Uh, Erica has something. She doesn't have enough to do that. Okay. I, I want to check everyone's proficiencies there. Okay. So, Nemi wants a steel bow if she can use that, which she can. Good. And let's get Gilliam a steel lance. And I'm going to run out of time here, aren't I? Yeah, yeah that's going to be in too much time. Alright. I'm fine with that. Erica's team presses further into the Grotto Empire, and ends up crossing territory with another Grotto official, Novella. Novella demands that Erica hands over her bracelet, claiming it's in exchange for Ephraim's freedom. Of course, Erica doesn't know that he's okay from the last chapter and hands it over. Novella's next demand is for them to surrender their weapons, but when he points out that hostages are involved and they'll be fed to demonic spiders if they don't agree, Erica gets pissed and tells him off. Okay, now, with a map like this, we can only view so far in front of us. Now, using a thief character is going to remedy that. He's got a wider range of vision. I want to drop one of my healers because two of them is kind of excessive here, really. Um, let's see. What can I afford to drop? I'm gonna drop Vanessa because if there's an archer here, we are screwed. Um, I'm still not really using much of Seth, but I don't really need to. So, yeah, th those are my units I want. I'm gonna check on my equipment. Too. He's got an axe. He probably doesn't need for anything. Drop that. Um, he's good. Since I'm not using Seth very much, I'm gonna throw this javelin over to him. Yeah, definitely get that back out. Uh, trade that over to Erica. Eric is going to use the Dragon Shield. Do I have enough time to do this? Barely. She wants to use the, uh... Secret Book as well. And that's all the time we've got, so, uh, let's go on. Okay, well, I didn't get a chance to change my formation at all, but I don't think I'm really going to need to very much. Alright. Give the thief more. There. Okay. Now I see what I'm up against. Right. Get Franz over there very quickly. Going to cover up here. Okay, that, that route's clear, which is what I wanted. Wait, can he reach that far? Okay. The answer is no. Also what we wanted. Continue moving over this way. That's good enough going to be in slight danger, but he's pretty evasive, so I think he'll still be okay in the end. Definitely against Axie. Ooh, 6%? Nice. Because I can't really rely on him too much for actual fighting ability.
let's uh, see if we can get him some experience points while we're at it. Make him suck slightly less. Yeah, that's about as good as we're gonna get there, I think. Oh, it's still not good enough. And just, can anyone get to? Harder than we thought. Okay. Uh, that's not good enough either. Okay. Let's take this one step at a time. Still no room over there. Okay. We can get over there. good as I'm going to get there. And it's still not good enough. Alright. We're just going to have to form a wall then. Oh, nice. Okay. What about here? That's not enough either. If that hits, that's a kill. Not a hit. Okay. Alright, we're gonna need a little bit more healing power there. over there. I definitely want to get Ross a little closer, and Josh for that matter. Let's start having Nemi go towards the village. Leaving him at 1 HP might actually have been a good thing, because then it prevents uh, the Lancer there from getting another attack on Calm. Oh, we got another, uh, character that I missed. And that's the danger of a map like this. So, it looks like... Probably picked a good unit to stand there. Who else is around there? Cleaning up nicely, at least. This is the part where Josh just gets lots of experience points, isn't it? <laughs> There's another one. But they gotta calm down, he doesn't have that much HP to begin with. Well, we got a weapon out of that one at least. Is there another one? There is not. Okay, is that, are we done yet? <sighs> We're not done. Though, admittedly, that one I don't really care about. Put some archers over there now. More people coming in from the uh, mountains, it looks like. Alright, now we're gonna be done. Get anything good from this, at least. Alright, so Nemi has some antitoxin, which might help later. And now I need to get rid of those uh, enemies there. Get some of the guys on the bottom of the map up towards the top now. 
get some covering fire since it looks like we're going to be a little bit understaffed there. And we're also going to need to get some more visibility here. Oh, we've got a little more than I bargained for. Two enemies heading towards him. Oh, he can't even reach those mountains. Okay. They can cross them. Okay. Well, let's at least start fighting back. And... He's gotta get to someone. No one's gonna be able to reach Josh, so he's just gonna have to fend for himself. That much trouble is my next question. We're looking at 11 versus 10 possible damage there, and 10 possible damage there with a type advantage, so that's going to leave him very vulnerable. So I'm going to have to do a rescue here. He doesn't have any vulnerabilities. That's a problem. Um, well, let's give him some then. All right, put him in the mountains. Heal up and see what happens. <laughs> clear out enemies at least far enough that Franz can drop Calm off somewhere. Okay, Gilliam's gonna be poisoned now, which means he's gonna take some damage at the, be at the uh, beginning of every turn. So I gotta get Nemi over to him to heal up. You're gonna get the critical hit count up way high that way. That's okay, because Josh is could be pretty much going to be like my power unit, because no one's going to be able to hit him. Especially when he's on mountains like that. Oh, enemy's coming in from the side now. Rapier has an advantage over both, uh, both uh, armored and mounted knights. Good stuff. That's probably going to hit. But he wasn't in danger of any other units from that side, so not a problem. Oh, they've got a healer over there? Alright, we gotta get rid of that one. Preferably quickly. Okay, she heals up. He's down a little bit. Move them a little closer, okay. Fairly easy kill. I need to get rid of the dark one. Oh yeah, I'm thinking that's someone different than who it actually is. Ah, uh, that one's not going to be enough. Okay. I guess Eric is my best choice for that then, isn't she? 
using a different weapon. There. Definitely want to make sure I can kill him in one shot. Or one turn, at least. Franz needs to, uh, regain some HP. And then we gotta put Colm somewhere safe. Actually... Right up here is actually a good spot for him. My first priority, then, is to take out this guy. Just like that. If I could keep him on the mountain, that would be preferable. I'm not going to get Ross on the mountain, though. Uh, can he deal with her? Potential one-shot, one-hit kill. I'm willing to go for that. With the defense as high as his, I'm really not concerned about him getting killed with the poison effect. There's an enemy I didn't count on, but that's okay. Gotta do it. Okay, I did want the critical hit, though. I'm just afraid I'm using up the uh, killing edge too quickly. Alright, as long as one of those attacks stays, Ross is probably going to get misses, then we're gonna... We've got no immediate need for concern. We're halfway done based on the timer, but probably not based on the actual progress of the map. Still can't quite tell what's in front of me. Not sure if I'm going to have these giant spiders attacking me either. I worked out alright. Oh, and I thought this the, uh... Archer was going to atta attack Ross, too. Guess not. Okay, how far over can I get him, then? It's not going to be far enough to reach... Okay. Let's try to... Wait, he's got... Oh, he's got Max. Okay. Yeah, expose more of the map. The boss is over there, that's all we need to deal with. Though I'm sure we've got bonus if we uh, talk to those... Uh... Yeah, do that. Uh, if we talk to those villagers over there, probably. try and get these guys out of trouble, if we can. I 
Actually, yeah, let's do that, and then we'll get, uh, we'll see if we can get Ross to get the kill on him. Wait, that's not quite gonna work like that, is it? That can work. Need to throw a hatchet over there. Oh, his skill and speed are getting ridiculous. Okay, we got what we wanted there. So as long as we don't have any enemies coming in from the left side or something like that, then I think we're going to be fine. And now watch the enemies come in from the left side. Well, nothing yet, okay. Oh, how far can he get? Ooh. Quite a bit of range, alright. Well, she's proven herself to be really good against armored knights. That's a healer type, so it might be... Decent idea to eliminate him now. We might be able to start promoting some units soon then if we've got a couple level 8s already. Josh. Not to say he'll probably need it, but you know. Alright, so do I get a surprise enemy assault coming up here? I do get a bunch of magic users, though. get him healed up. Oh, we got a... We have to trade for it. Okay. That's fine. Okay, that's gonna make things easier if we can get her involved. Surprises here. No, I don't. Okay. The reason I want to do that is just to make sure that I... I still have a feeling I get some kind of bonus if I talk to them. take the risk of missing like that, because I still think I could get someone else over there to help him out. That's actually a type disadvantage, though, isn't it? It is, but it's a fairly safe one. Yeah, there we go. I can. Nice. I think he's going to be the most dangerous right now, Franz. Unless we do have those mysterious enemies from the left. Oh. Maybe we do. There's 
not expecting spiders like that. And clearly neither were the uh, villagers. Oh, and she's not going to make it over there in time. Okay. We're just going to have to finish this as is, then. Harder starts the charge. And Franz should be able to finish it. Well, that actually worked out much better than I thought was going to in my head, assuming I hit make these hits at least. All done. And how well does he would make out? All right, good, good. And the job is done. Oh, nice, we do get something out of that. After noticing it come up so much, Seth comes clean about Erica's bracelet. Renice's temple contains what looks like one of the sacred stones, but it's actually a forgery to mislead the greedy, and the real stone is underneath the castle, and Erica and Ephraim's bracelets are the keys to get in. Fado didn't want them to know unless it was absolutely necessary for them, and obviously with the king dead, now is the time. Thinking Grotto already has one of the bracelets, and thus no further use out of Ephraim, they race forward to Renval.